cancers oh my goodness i am so sorry i don't know what happened the reading got cut off right towards the end but do not fret i am here for you um i am doing a free that is definitely going to be a free part two so definitely this is a very beautiful message and i know i had said something before about going into an extended and that's funny because that was almost like an intuitive way of saying there was going to be a part three to this reading and here we are in part three so this is the extended for those of you who want to catch the tail end of this message and also look at the energy of the person on the other side welcome if you are new to the channel this is queen cancer tarot and thank you so much if you are here in this extended um and the way that i would like to do this cancer um, this, you know, was a very, very different reading that we did. Part one and part two is something that I'm doing free. Um, part two is going to be an extended, um, but I've decided to make this into a part three. So now we are going to look at the energy on the other person's side. Um, we have been seeing that cancer has been going through a lot um, while cancer is healing over a very difficult relationship in the past that was very controlling even to the point where it was abusive you can see that cancer is making very swift and quiet plans to leave um to get to a safe place um but cancer is going through struggling right now i feel like um with you know feelings of anger and then feelings of you know one minute cancer feels fine the next minute cancer can't sleep this is someone who is going through a lot of that while they're trying to heal so let's just see what's happening with the energy on the other person's side all right cancer so that uh we can see what exactly is going on here And I said this was more of your energy here that, that was to focus. You are the most important factor of this reading, Cancer. Um, I do, however, want to take a look at the energy on this other person's side just to see, like, what they're, you know, what to expect from this person. I want to know what energy they have going on. Is there anything that you need to be aware of or concerned about cancer as you are going through this this person is dealing with the the legal system it looks like cancer so you know your safety is always important as well um and a factor to be considered when it comes to readings like this i did not expect this reading when i started to go this way um, but sometimes cancer energies will uh, go in a different direction depending on who is watching okay who the viewers are so again what we saw what was very interesting right before it cut out cancer and we had surprise that may be the surprise that was happening at the end of part two please go check out parts one and two of this message it's very uh interesting how it builds up cancer very very beautiful um, but with the nine of pentacles and the devil energy that we pulled very separately cancer and we had seen that energy already here before with the devil and the nine of pentacles was under the deck and um, we talked about this cancer the one two things that you have to deal with to face with and the challenge for you is going back and forth between you know being oppressed by this energy or you picking up and doing whatever you have to do not needing to make plans and take your time but just rather jumping out there and doing what you have to do to defend yourself two of wands seven of wands cancer just having to leave all right this queen of swords is also looking out into the horizon so like she's making plans as well but she's being smart about it as well so 
page of wands that's the challenge um, being smart about it you know getting away from this very oppressive energy you want to make sure you do it safely cancer and with surprise I just want to make sure there's nothing going on that this person isn't planning cancer because that could also represent something that you don't know is happening and this person could be planning and I don't want anything you know negative to happen here so we're not speaking it we're all on positivity in life but we're also all about truth and clarity so let's go ahead and see what's happening with this person's energy on this side and then we will clarify holy spirit angels and guides what clarity what guidance what love messages do you have for cancer tell us about cancer please holy spirit angels and guides tell us about cancer holy spirit the page of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy the six of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy the chariot Cancerian energy the king of cups Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy. The death card in the reverse. Scorpionic energy. And the wheel of fortune. And that is fire energy there. Underneath the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the World, more fire energy here. All right, Cancer, so on the energy on this side here with the Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Swords represents an energy of someone who is, um, there's a lot of communication that's taking place, okay? This person, there's a high level of um, questioning or, you know, maybe even a little lack of trust on this person's end. Um, this person is also, you know, very kind of matter of fact about it, but really going about things in a very um, secret way, trying to get information. All right. Um, with the six of pentacles, this is an energy of things being very one sided, um, very one sided. So this could be an energy of there was one person in this relationship who was really not allowed to ask questions or um, one person that really wasn't allowed to really do all the talking. There was one person in the relationship in the past who felt like they couldn't say something or they couldn't ask questions. Um, or... This can represent someone getting a lot of one-sided information, Cancer, about something that took place in the past. So this person on this side could be, you know, giving a one-sided story about something that took place in the past here. And we'll clarify Moving on to the current energy with the Chariot and the King of Cups, all of this Cancerian energy with Scorpio and Pisces. 
as well. This is an energy of Cancer. This is, first of all, your energy. Um, but this is someone who is very determined, Cancer, um, and someone determined to create distance. With the King of Cups, that is that energy of someone who is lacking of emotion. Um, this person is, um, you know, there is some level of love that this person feels, but they are extremely distant when it comes to their emotions. They know how to put their emotions or turn their emotions off in order to make something happen or in order to get somewhere. And this can talk about you, Cancer. This can talk about you um, making plans to leave. Remember I said that Two of Wands, you're being very quiet, planning safely your exit plan. That's the Chariot and the King of Cups. Someone who is uh, being very quiet and making plans to leave, Cancer. With the Death card in the reverse here, Scorpionic energy, this is someone who is almost staying in a toxic situation because they're afraid to leave. But with the world card here, Cancer, and this person, it's like they're on wheels. They're on wheels, but this person is getting ready to travel. Like this person is getting ready to leave. This person's getting ready to go in a different direction. They are no longer finding themselves standing in the same spot that they once were in before. Something is going to be changing and it's going to affect everything around them or the thing or everything around this person is causing them to leave or want to leave, not want to stay in this toxic relationship anymore. All right. With the queen of pentacles and the three of swords and the world here. And this is the Wheel of Fortune here. Sorry, not the world. The world is here. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, but yes, same difference here. This is an energy here of things changing. Things changing. With the Wheel of Fortune, things are coming in and somebody's fate is going to be handed to them. Okay? This person is getting out of a toxic situation and as they're doing this, someone is going to be exercising a good old sense of um, a good old dose of uh, karma. They're going to be exercising this with the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, that was that energy. Like I said, someone very nurturing. But with the Three of Swords, somebody's coming in and cutting a situation out. There is somebody who's going to be getting cut out. They're going to be breaking away. There's going to be a separation that takes place. And people are going to feel very, very bad when this happens. But this is someone's fate getting handed to them with this world card. The world talks about someone getting their fate. So... Let's clarify this energy. Tell us about the Page of Wands, please, for Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about the Page of Wands, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about... Okay, and we have the star in the reverse. So... Not Page of Wands, Page of Swords. I'm sorry. Um, so the Page of Swords to the star in the reverse. And the star in the reverse is an energy of somebody who is feeling very helpless in a situation. They are discouraged. And I feel like this is someone who, um, with this Page of Swords, this is somebody who is asking questions and very quietly cancer. They are trying to figure out how to get out of the situation that they found themselves in. Very one-sided energy where there it's just lacking love, Cancer. Under the deck, Ace of Cups. 
And this is the opposite of lacking love. This is an abundance of love. But this is someone who is looking for a new opportunity. But this person is grown very desperate in this situation very early on, Cancer. Very early on you were going through. Tell us about the Six of Pentacles. And you have the Two of Cups. So this is, again, this is not a balanced relationship with the Six of Pentacles. Things are very one-sided. But this person, you're committed to this person. But with the Knight of Wands under the deck, this person is very rebellious. This person does what they want to do, Cancer. And things took a terrible direction. And I told you this person had a hot temper. Knight of Wands. Hottemper.com. <laughs> Tell us about the chariot, please. Tell us about the chariot for Cancer. Holy Spirit. Angels. And we have the Hermit. Again, this is cancer. You were, like I said, you were determined um, to get out of this situation, cancer. With the hermit energy, this is an energy of someone who is contemplating a situation. Um, you know, trying to de determine where they fit in cancer. Um, but with the king of cups, like you're ready to go. Under the deck, two of pentacles. There is that back and forth energy here that came up here cancer just when this person was getting their justice just when you were getting your justice just when you were walking and deciding to get clarity to go and heal and recover and escape from this energy then the two of pentacles comes in this indecisiveness cancer and this is not good this talks about this toxicity um, and not wanting to get out of this cancer, want, almost being stuck in this hopeless situation. You feel stuck because you somehow feel, still feel emotionally devoted to this person with the King of Cups. King of Cups is extremely devoted. There's a lot of love that this person has, but they can't feel it. <laughs> They can't feel it because of all that they've gone through. They're able to separate their emotions from what they know to be true. Tell us about the King of Cups, please. Holy Spirit. And we have the Six of Cups. Once again, this person has a lot of good memories. Things used to be good, but things turn bad very quickly. Six of Cups here, down here. And this person is not forgetting about it. The sun. Look at that. This talks about someone with a truth. But this also is a moment of this person feeling optimistic. Feeling optimistic. You used their things were happy in the past. And that's why you feel devoted to this person. But it is a toxic situation, Cancer. Behind this is a Ten of Swords. This situation needs to be closed out. This is a situation, King of Cups, Cancer. You need to create distance. There is no need. You need to end it. Don't worry about this devotion that you feel. You feel so committed to this person. Four of Wands energy. You need to end it. Let it go. Let it go. Dead that energy, Cancer. Tell us about this death card in the reverse. Dead that death card in the reverse. That toxic situation. Look at that. Eight of Wands. Sudden change. And remember I told you we had the Eight of Wands before that was under the deck. But there is something that is going to be changing very quickly here, Cancer. You are going to be getting out of that feeling of feeling like you're in, stuck in this situation. Under the deck, look at who it is. Look at who it is. The chariot. 
that's your energy cancer you are the one that's going to be changing you are the one that's going to be pivoting going in a new direction taking a turn cancer this is you all day beautiful energy you are no longer going to be going back and forth feeling like you are super tied to the past here cancer with your devoting loving bleeding heart three of swords your heart is bleeding and you're still being compassionate for this person but with the world card that is all going to change cancer tell us about this two of pentacles you're going back and forth now but how long tell us about the two of pentacles Ooh, wow five of swords and remember i told you that five of swords came up for you before with the eight of pentacles cancer when you were leveling up just when you were leveling up all that mental anxiety i feel like Cancer, you're going to get it in your head space that you have got to level up. Cancer, you are better than this. You don't deserve to go back and forth. This is a mental back and forth. You're not physically going back and forth with this person. You're mentally tied to this energy, Cancer. But you've got to release it and let it go. Under the deck, nine of pentacles. <laughs> Cancer, give it to me. Nine of pentacles or the devil? Which one do you want? Independence or oppression? That's going to be the title of this reading. Independence or oppression, Cancer, which one do you want? This is going to be a three-part series before the end of the day because it was too beautiful and the way it got cut off, I'm not going to cheat you like that. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Subscribe to this channel. Click that watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you want your energy to flow through these messages. This is someone in the collective going through this. Or there could be multiple people in this scenario, but this is very strong energy, Cancer. Independence or oppression, baby. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Knight of Wands, energy, independence. <sighs> Beautiful cancers. I am going to um, stop this message here. I'm going to pull a couple of oracles. We're going to close this out. And I am going to love you guys so very much for being part of this channel. This is some of the most beautiful energy. You guys got three messages for free. Confusion. Oh my. Lanta's. Confusion. I know you're confused, Cancer. Embrace what your destiny has in store for you. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Get out of that toxic situation that you are in. Independence or oppression. Which one do you want? Let's pull one love oracle for you, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancers? Please tell us about Cancer. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. All right, Cancers. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right, Cancer, that's your cue. It's time for you to do you. I love you guys so very much. This is one of the most beautiful messages for all of my beautiful Cancers. Check me out again on my channel. We're coming back with some career and finance for you guys. I love you guys so much. Take care of each other and take care of yourselves. Till next time. Bye.